When you need some chips, you better get them quick. That's why you get them from Quick Chips in the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society. I am your host, Brandon, and that over there is a heel of Mahoney. Snack time, Pally, and let me tell you, Doritos is mixing it up. Oh, <laughs> what do you know? I'm all mixed up too, man. I don't know what's going <laughs> on, but Doritos apparently knows what's going on. Two flavors of a new product. It's a Doritos snack mix. Whoa, so I'm a uh, horse, the uh, obvious question here. Are they taking shots at checks? I think they might be, but there's no cereal in here. It's all different types of Doritos, apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. And we have two different flavors today. We have the cheese explosion. Okay. And we have... The Blues Explosion. The no, Blues Explosion? No, that's the Taco Explosion. Taco Sorry. Explosion. John Spencer is not here joining us no, today. Not at all. <laughs> uh, and apparently you get four different shapes and four different flavors in each bag. Okay. And so the shapes are a traditional Dorito, a uh, rolled Dorito, kind of like the uh, Dynamitas. Uh-huh, Hiranos, Dynamitas, yeah. and our favorites, the Takis. Yeah, and the <laughs> triangular one that is kind of like a Dorito 3D. Now, the last one to me is Bull. Cause that's a that's a Frito. Yeah, that, that's a twisted Frito. That's yeah, not, that's not a Dorito in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, they're they're being tricky on these. They got different flavors in each one as far as like what the different items are. So mm -hmm. we can cover that as we do each bag. But it's a new product, so we're gonna kind of do the quick and dirty on this here and see what kind of mix yeah. they got going here. Let's go with the cheese explosion first in yes. the orange bag, and they have the regular nacho cheese Doritos in here. We know what those taste like. And that's what that is. All right. Good one of each out of one. This whole now first thing, the top of this bag, you can possibly see in there is almost all chips. Yeah. On top there. Oh yeah, shake it up. Man. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to dig for the uh, other stuff that might be maybe the uh, shape makes the uh, Oh yeah, they're denser and they fall. Well, I mean, all I'm getting is chips. Yeah. I had to do two handfuls <laughs> to even okay now I got one of those. Yeah. I uh, twisted up Frito. Take me out, Dorito. It's not a Dorito. I'm managing another one of those. It's mostly done on regular old Doritos in here. Wow, are we going to be able to taste all of them? Let's see if I can. I want to see There's, that there's one, like a shred of a Taki. I mean, the mix here is not a. Where's the triangles? <laughs> I haven't seen a single one. I almost have this whole bag empty here. I got tons of chips well, I'm gonna going Dorito all over my that. table. Yeah, I'm, here, here I found some. There. There's, some, right. there's some triangles. Took some searching. Almost had to get almost the whole bag on the darn table here. Mm -hmm. I was expecting those triangles to be a little bit larger. Yeah. And pretty much yeah. I got the entire bag out well, here on the darn table. When they reintroduced the Doritos 3Ds last mm -hmm. year, it was like this times five. It was like mm -hmm. five of these triangles together. No, there's four of them, so we're still missing mm -hmm. we're still missing the uh the oh, Takis. No, we have that. Right oh, right here. there, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean we're just Takis is supposed to be uh jumping jack cheese instead of that? Yes. Yeah. Which were my favorite Doritos of all time, by the way. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to do the mix here, like they would say. Now, we have the different flavors. That one was mild. Uh huh. And of course, the regular nacho cheese Doritos in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the darn triangle thing that I had to dig through a treasure for. Okay, so that's spicy nacho, so they're trying to put the regular nacho and the spicy nacho in there. Mm -hmm. I think it's a conflict of interest because it basically tastes the same. I um, found a couple more. Yeah, I got some heat from that. I found a couple more triangles. They're in the bottom of the bag for a grand total of five. Um, right. First issue I have to give them, the mix is horrible. Yeah. It's, all, it's mostly just you're getting regular old nacho cheese Doritos. And they taste very similar. Yeah. Um, is it a cheese explosion? Yes. It's overwhelmingly cheese. It has that going for it. But, I mean, for what they're giving me here, I should have just bought a regular old bag of nacho cheese Doritos. Because yeah. the bag is 85%. Nacho cheese Doritos. That's not a very good mix at all. No, the mix um, is a total fail. And it, even on the flavors, I mean, yeah, there's different textures, but the flavors are not startlingly, startlingly different enough mm -hmm. to like make a difference. No, it tastes mainly the same. So uh -uh. I'm not really impressed with this product. One bit. No, um, the flavor's good, but it's nothing special. Mm -hmm. um, mainly just because of the bad execution. I got to go pretty harsh on this one. Um, I'm going a third mm -hmm. just because. This is failing to be a mix, and if you can't even get the mix part right, what's the point? Yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. Mm. Um, I don't know. I'd go a little bit better now because they taste all right and I'd eat them, but I'd never buy them again. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend them. I'll <laughs> go with a half of a thumb up. Okay, now let's see if the taco one ends up faring any better in the mix department. It's not just a taco one. It's a taco explosion. Taco explosion. There's no explosion, so, by the way. It was cheesy. Right maybe now. that was just a bad bag. But no, well, no first thing... Oh, wait, no. I am seeing a bunch of those uh, twisty, twisty hues in here. That's good. So that, 
And right off my first handful, I got chips and I did get a Taki. All right. For her honest, not about it. We should just stick with the right brand. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got a good mix. There. This mix is much wow. better. I'm seeing everything in the bag right at the top of the beginning. Now, oh, the regular Dorito that they have in here is spicy nacho instead yes. of regular nacho. I'm liking it. The triangle ones, the salsa ones, are an angry red compared to the yellow mm -hmm. of the other ones. The mix right off the bat is much more impressive here. Yep. Okay. Taco. Let's see, I get my salsa. Actually, okay. you do taste some vegetables in that, in that mm -hmm. uh, salsa presentation. Yes. That's pretty good. I get the four cheese. Oh, that's that one, my bad. This, this one's much better. Maybe that was just a bad bag Maybe. on that first one. Yeah, they didn't quite mix it up right. I don't I don't know what what's the twist supposed to be, Alex. The twisty one is a sour cream. Uh-oh. Okay. There's they're kind of going for like all the flavors of a taco. Mm. That's what they're going That's for. That's a good idea. Yeah. This is a much better execution mm -hmm. and it's a and there's much more flavors involved. The other one's too much it's all this cheese, but they don't even get the mix right. And the dynamite that they have is supposed to be taco flavored itself. So mm -hmm. you have your taco, you have your cheese, you have your salsa. salsa. And you have your sour cream all in one, and yes. it's crunchy like a taco. Yeah, this one I am down with. This one I like. The bag's good. Mm -hmm. It's a good mm -hmm. assortment. There's different flavors. Mm -hmm. It's different style chips. There's a good ratio of all of them involved. Mm -hmm. This one I like. This one I dig. Then about the same time, it's nothing that terribly unique or anything you know, groundbreaking. No. It's just giving you a bunch of stuff in one bag. But I like it. This one's at least good. This one I'll go three quarters. Yeah, this one's good. I'm liking this one a lot too. Uh, I like it a heck of a lot, as a matter of fact. And I would buy this one again. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe even with some kind of dip or something, or maybe uh, do the Stewart Fry and make a walking taco out of it. And, Put the cheese and the chili at 7 Eleven in there. Oh, in the try to get kicked okay. out. Yeah. <laughs> you notice they added the sign recently. It says for fresh food items instead of all food items. So they don't want you just mm -hmm. eating that stuff all together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a three quarter thumbs up. Uh, pretty right. darn good. Uh, I like it a lot and I'll probably get it again. Cool. Very cool. So what you need to do is uh, click on the link down below while you're leaving comments and uh, <laughs> join the SAS group on Facebook with hundreds of the coolest people in the world in our group. Why aren't you? Follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS and at Hugh Will Mahoney. And when you do, you have to do something else. Oh, you got to do what you always got to do. And that's use that hashtag Sack Society no matter where you are on the social media universe. Use that as handles at Brandon Reich SAS at Heal Will Mahoney. Go to Twitter, go to Instagram, go all over and see everything the Snack Society has to offer you. Tell us what you think of this Doritos mix. And when you do, you get jumped into the Four Horsemen, baby. Like it, favorite it, share it, and subscribe to it. And in the meantime, in between time, Ray Rougeau says hi. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey. Caps, caps, caps.